Alright, in the previous video we talked about the European language portfolio and one important part in the portfolio was the self-assessment. Now in this video I'd like to show you where you can find the self-assessment grids and I'd also like to show you what you could do with these grids. Let's go online. Here we are at the first tool. The tool is called WebSef. Here we go. And it is dedicated to the collaborative evaluation of oral language proficiency. And it aims at helping you to benchmark your language evaluation skills with your colleagues across Europe. Basically what it is, is an, it's a net-based community where you or your learners can upload videos on spoken performance and you, your learners and other people you invite to your online community can assess your learners against the CFR levels. And what the tool then allows you, if we go on showcase, the tool allows you to have different people assessing one student's performance. It can be the student themselves, it can be the peers, it can be you, it can be other people across Europe and then you can compare, compare your assessment against other people's assessment and online discuss where you digress and why you digress. Well, for one thing, the teachers could use the self-assessment grids as they are if the learners want to get an overview of their skills. Um, Furthermore, teachers and learners can break the grids down. So if you have a specific area like writing or giving a presentation or assessing a project performance, then you could take different aspects of the assessment grid, break it down and only assess the areas which are very relevant. And the good thing with these assessment grids is that learners can assess themselves, but you can also use them for peer assessment and let the other learners in the class assess a certain performance. I'm going to show you two more things. One is the assessment tool itself, because that's of course at the heart. Here is described the procedure, how you get an account on the assessment tool. You can set an account for yourself, for your class, for your, for your students. And then you can contact the people here. Helena and the WebSef community in order to set up your account and if you have any questions and here you find a bit of information on the international and the national existing WebSef communities and you can decide whether you want to join them or whether you want to set up your own community and invite other people. Have fun exploring. Okay, I've shown you now the WebSef the tool for assessing oral language production. There's another cool tool online, it's called Cefcult, and as the name suggests, it's about assessing intercultural skills. And again, it's an online platform where learners or you can upload videos of performance on intercultural tasks, and you can share the evaluation with your learners and with other colleagues across Europe. Let's have a look. Here we are at the Cefcult pages. Again, this is an online platform which provides a learning environment for assessing intercultural communicative competence. And here you find information on the platform and of course you have to register again before you can work with it. Once you've registered, you have access to the training materials where project um, partners have provided supporting documents and different scenarios on intercultural communication. Of course you find information about the project and contact details and what you also find on the front page, on the home page, is a video introducing um, the page. Hello, uh, today I'm going to be talking to you about two European projects, uh, WebSef and Cefcult. I will first present the WebSef project, which took place between 2006 and 2009. Now, if you wanted to know what Anna has to say about the two projects, please listen and watch the video. She'll tell you all about the features of Cefcult, as well as the WebSef page. But if you're interested just in a quick glance of what Cefcult can do for you once you have signed up, then here is a little screenshot. You can upload your videos, you can communicate with other experts, you can share your views on assessment and on important features. It's an online platform where you can exchange your views 
on how to assess intercultural communicative skills. And again, the positive feature about it is that it's interactive and you can upload videos, performances and watch them as often as you want to and share them with an online community which you can set up. So in this video we've been at two really cool web pages, online communities, online tools, WebSef and SefCult for assessing oral production and for assessing intercultural competences all in the context of the Common European Framework of Reference. I hope you, find, you found these web pages and the projects quite stimulating and all I can say is keep exploring, keep exploring the web keep exploring conferences and contributions by other teachers, how they use the CFR, how it's implemented and what use it can do for your context. Have fun!